Okay. The second type of scattering is called Compton scattering. So here in Compton scattering, what is happening is the incident photon is here. Let's say it inter and this is the atom, the body atom, and this interacts with the mostly with the outer electrons or the valence electrons of the atom and what happens is because of this interaction the electron is ejected notice this electron is in the valence shell hence the binding energy is very I mean small or negligible so the electron is immediately uh, ejected from the atom and there is still energy left with that energy another photon is emitted so with Compton scattering you have a electron that is ejected and there is an x-ray that is produced there are both the things that are happening simultaneously because this usually interacts with the valence electron shells uh, valence electrons so it it does not have to use or utilize a lot of energy to remove the electron from the nucleus and hence uh, over here it's like there is there's enough energy that another photon uh, can be ejected I mean there's an electron as well as x-ray uh, that is emitted again you can see this is scattering so the path has again changed so there is an angle of de deflection that is associated with this so over here what is happening is your incident photon let's say it has uh, an energy of E naught so that energy is divided into two parts one goes to the kinetic energy of the ejected electron so this electron has some velocity or some motion that motion uh, the energy for that motion comes from the kinetic energy E E minus and then there is a x-ray that is emitted and the energy of the x-ray is ESC so if you add both these energies that will be equivalent to the energy of the incident photon there is another small energy that is the binding energy of the electron which is negligible because this is valence electron so an important thing over here is Compton scattering ionizes the atom so here Compton scattering is not only deflecting the path of x-ray but also ionizing the atom is it good or bad bad I mean this is more bad or I would say worse because this is also ionizing I mean uh, it is ejecting the electron and it is uh, also deflecting the path of x-ray but <laughs> Compton scattering is highly probable so it is a predominant interaction of x-ray in diagnostic energy range with soft tissue so we cannot help it so Compton scattering is something that will happen and hence it is very important to know uh, what's the ionization energy or uh, how many electrons will be ionized on an average in the body and so on yeah so is sc Compton scattering crude so definitely not so this is an image that I got uh, so this is uh, the primary uh, x-ray and this is the x-ray with scatter so you can see that it is very blur and you don't get anything so in reality this is not what will happen what will happen is at some portion or some regions uh, there will be uh, Compton scattering and so on so yeah I took this from this video